This is Seven Seas Cruising Association. This is our sponsor webinar for Iridium Go. Nick Olson, Karen McMaster, and Marlene Kleindert will be joining us. This is our sponsor, PredictWin.com. They are the world leader in both weather and in a lot of electronics, which Rick, is, which Rick Olson is going to talk about along with Karen and Marlene. And I'm going to turn it over to you, Rick, now. Um, and enjoy. Cool. Thank you very much, Joe. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks for joining us and um, and welcome to the webinar. Um, yeah, my name's Nick Olson. Um, I am the marketing manager at Predict Wind and I'm also a sailor and I've sailed for the last 30, I don't know, 38 years or something and uh, everything from dinghies through to um, keelboats and offshore keelboat sailing. Um, on the panel, we've got Kieran and Marlene. Uh, they, Kieran's the head of our support team and Marlene's uh, just one of the legends in our support team. Uh, they are there to answer any of your questions in the Q&A. And, &A. and um, so feel free to ask them any questions. They are both very experienced sailors, both um, it, well, actually, I better not say that Marlene's a Volvo sailor. She tells me off. Marlene is an ex whipbred around the world sailor, and uh, Kieran has done the, the Volvo a couple of times. So they're very experienced offshore sailors. Uh, they know what it's like to be out there. Uh, they're also experts with the Iridium Go and anything to do with uh, the Predict One software. So, yeah, please feel free to ask them some questions. Uh, so, just a little bit about Predict Wind. Uh, we uh, try to make weather uh, simple and accessible to anyone, anywhere. And I guess the anywhere part of that probably um, relates to our webinar today. Uh, so as we'll be talking about uh, how to connect and get weather uh, when you're offshore. So uh, without going too far, sort of too, too much into a ramble, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll crack right into it. Um, so I'll share the screen here. So we'll start at the beginning. Um, I'm going to, um, you know, I'm not going to assume that anyone knows anything uh, about the Iridium Go or why we would use it. So I'll start at the beginning. Um, so I've actually got two of them here. And, um, this one. And um, so that is, that's what we're talking about. Uh, you can, or you can see that on the screen here, um, is the Iridium Go. Uh, why do we, why do we use it? Um, so the Iridium Go is an affordable and uh, accessible satellite product mm -hmm. that, that that ticks a lot of boxes that some other stuff doesn't. So it it, it gives you the ability to make phone calls send uh, SMS um, and email and but uh, importantly for for us and the reason that we uh, sell it is that it allows you to download weather when you're offshore so when you whenever you're out of a Wi-Fi connection the Iridium Go can um, can get grub files weather routing GMDSS all that all the stuff that you need to have a proper picture of the weather when you uh, when you when you're doing a passage. So just before we get too far into that, I'll just sort of explain. So why would you have an Iridium go over, say, an inReach or a, a Spot device or an inReach Mini or something like that? So those devices, an inReach, it cannot do a data transfer, and it cannot do uh, a phone call or an email. So it, 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 it can do what's called, uh, it sends a short burst, it's, they're called short burst data devices. And so they, they can only just send basically like an SMS. That's, that's sort of the, the limit of their functionality. Uh, whereas an Iridium Go, like an Iridium phone, can make a, a, a proper satellite connection and actually hold the connection with the satellites, which allows us to get uh, data over satellite. So, um, and then, 
you know, beyond that. So there are a lot, uh, there are sort of top end uh, devices that you could get, um, you know, much uh, faster uh, satellite connections and that's fine, but uh, you know, that's a, that's a cost, um, you know, a cost thing. So, uh, uh, you know, and, but the, the, the faster devices that can make um, proper connections, they, they can also use predict one. So it's just the, uh, the, the, the short burst data stuff like a spot or an in reach that can't do a proper data transfer. So an Iridium Go or an Iridium phone is sort of the, the, the bottom end of what can do the, the functionality wise can do what we need it to do to get uh, a proper picture of uh, weather and uh, offshore and, and a bunch of other functionality. So what, um, yeah, so it's, it's pretty, um, you've got to understand that an, an Iridium Go is, uh, does make a very slow, is a very slow connection. So to use it, we need special software. And so we have, um, I'll just scroll down here. I'm pretty sure it's down on this page. I'm sort of scrolling up, there we go. Uh, so we have these these three main pieces of software that that we recommend that you use. Um, so, and I'll come back to these, but I just sort of wanted to give an overview uh, and intro. Uh, so the we have the Iridium Go app, um, which I just realised I need to update the the logo for. Um, and so that's what we do our voice calling on and um, SMS on. Uh, so the Iridium Go app will work on your phone or on an iPad. And, um, and, and, and so, yeah, that, that you, you connect that to your, to your Iridium Go and you, and you make your phone call. Uh, then we've got the Iridium Mail app, and that's what we do um, our emailing on. And then we have the Offshore app. And the offshore app is um, a lot of people think that you can only use um, an Iridium Go on a iPad or a phone, or you know, on a tablet or a phone. Uh, that's not true. You actually just need a piece of software that can talk to it. So the the Predictwind offshore app will work on a PC, a Mac, an iPhone, an, an, iPhone, uh, an Android tablet, an Android phone, and actually also works on a Chromebook. So, yeah, that, that are the three things that the three main pieces of software that that we, um, you know, use and um, and our customers use. So I'll just come back up to the top of this page here, and uh, we will will talk a little bit about the Iridium Go, some more. Um, so the reason we sell the Iridium Go is so people can get weather when they're offshore. We don't sell it because it's some big uh, money maker for us. It's, um, it, it's certainly not. We we sell these this 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 here. What you see here, uh, that's basically what it, it costs us. We don't have a, a margin on it. For us, it's about getting people to be able to get our weather service. Um, so you see, we've got the three packages here. We highly recommend that you get the external antenna. Uh, the reason for that in, in your kit, I mean, you can get this, um, but to, for, for it to work, the Iridium Go, I'll just turn this one on. It needs to be this, I'm sitting in, in my office at the moment, and this won't work because it needs to have a clear view of the horizon. So, and you see there, it's just got that, the little antenna, uh, whereas if we scroll down the page here, and you'll see that this is the external antenna that you can mount outside of your boat, like up, you know, up the aft end usually. And you have that external antenna and you have the unit sitting inside your boat and you can flick this on and you can connect to it at any time. If you've just got the unit without the external antenna, you've got to have this unit outside, so out on deck, uh, generally, um, and and have that connected to the you know able to 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 
see a satellite from eight degrees off the horizon, it follows the the, the signal follows the satellite through the sky. So uh, the Iridium satellite satellites are low orbit, low Earth orbit, and so they're, they're moving through the sky quite fast. And so this will it, it has to has to pick up one and it follows it through the sky. And the constellation is set up as such as before that one disappears, it'll pick up a new one and then it, it, it transfers off that. So it's just a lot easier if you have the external antenna. Yep, it's a little bit more money, but it's well worth it. Um, because then you can just, you know, use it at any time. You know, uh, the times when you want it uh, are possibly in bad weather. Um, and the last thing you want to be is trying to balance one of these up on deck. I have heard of people losing them over the side. So you have this mounted in, if you have the external antenna and you have the unit mounted inside your boat, it's, um, yeah, it's definitely the way to go. Uh, also, here we have uh, what we call the complete package where we sell uh, YB3i as well. The YB3i is a tracking device. So the Iridium Go does do tracking. But if you have an aluminium boat or a carbon boat, uh, the GPS signal doesn't penetrate the boat. So we recommend that you have the YB3i, which sits outside and can send your uh, tracking positions. So that's sort of the, that's the, that's the packages. Um, we, um, you'll probably find that most of the suppliers um, around the world, the, the prices are pretty similar. Um, uh, the, uh, no one, I don't know of anyone that sells them cheaper than us. Um, and as I said, we just want people to buy them so that they use our weather service. Um, but we are the, Predict Wind is the largest uh, supplier and seller of Iridium Goes in the world. And the reason for that is not, um, is actually not price related. Um, and the plans, again, they are, they're, they're much of a muchness. Um, they're not, you know, we're not necessarily cheaper than anyone else. We're not more expensive either. Um, but the reason that people use Predict Wind and recommend it to their friends is because we have people like Kieran and Marlene who are there to support you. So, um, you know, this is a, the, the Iridium Go is an unfamiliar product to most, most people, you know, using a satellite devices, uh, you know, it does take a little bit of time to come to grips with it as, as you know, it's got some, some little nuances, which we'll touch on, but having people there who are willing and knowledgeable uh, to, and, you know, able to support you, that is, that's, that's why we um, sell so many of them is because we have this, this awesome team of 10 people um, there that, to help you and to help you with any questions you have and uh, help you get going. And, you know, um, we've been, uh, I think we've been selling these for five or six years now. And um, at, at least as long as I've been at Predict Wind, so it must be six years. And, um, you know, we know everything about them, every little in and out. Um, and uh, also being, um, being a large supplier, if there is an issue, um, Iridium, Iridium are more responsive to us than most. So, um, yeah, anyway, here are the, um, this is the airtime plans. Um, so, a I can't uh, probably emphasize enough. Uh, I know that this is the, uh, the most expensive plan, um, but you'll see here it says go unlimited. And what that means is that you have unlimited data. And so that means that you can get weather twice a day uh, after the weather's updated, or as many times as you want, actually. And you can, w without worrying about how much airtime you're using, um, as soon as you go over the, your airtime on one of these uh, other plans, you, you're getting charged by the minute. And, you know, we, we want people to get weather, because if you're getting weather, you're going to be safe. If you know what's happening, you're going to be safe. If you can communicate with the outside world, 
you're going to be safe. It's, it's, yeah, I can't probably can't um, emphasize that enough. It's, it's worth it. Get the unlimited plan so that you can get up to date weather. You don't want to be thinking, oh, should I get weather today? Oh no, I don't want to use all my minutes. If you, the, the, the Iridium Go is the only product that has this unlimited or you can eat type plan um, in the satellite market. And uh, it's, it, 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 this is another reason why we um, promote it is because it has this unlimited plan. And that means that we, we, we want you to get weather and you can get it and you, you're gonna, um, you know, you can make uh, information means that you can make good decisions. So there's, there's questions about the plans. I'm sure Kieran and Marlene can, uh, can answer them. Uh, SIM cards. So the unit, this is, you can see, you can see the SIM card here. The unit has to have one of these little SIM cards in it. It doesn't go in your phone. It goes in the unit. And so you put the little, you put the little unit in, you put the little SIM card in the unit and, um, and I'll just move this out my way. And you'll see up here is, this is where I can activate my SIM card. So you've got, you've bought your Iridium Go or you've, you've got an Iridium Go and you, I've got your SIM card from Predict Wind, which there's my camera there. It's um, the little bit in there. And uh, you just, we have on the predictwind.com webpage, we uh, have a, a, a link to the satellite portal. So you just click on, click on there and I can go in here and what do I want to activate? I want to activate an Iridium Go SIM card and I just go through this uh, process and it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. The beauty of it is it means that your uh, SIM card is activated within, within about 10 minutes. Uh, you can also control um, your billing, you can change your plan, you can cancel. Uh, it's, the, it's, the place to, it's the place to go for um, I want to go back to that page uh, to, to, to activate and, and, and do everything with your um, Iridium airtime. Uh, it'll tell you how much uh, airtime you've used. Um, yeah, really cool. Um, it's a pretty, uh, yeah, I don't know of anyone else that has that uh, set up, but it, it, what is good about it is that it doesn't matter what time of the day it is, whether it's a Saturday or Sunday, whenever you can activate your SIM card or cancel or whatever you want to do, change your plan. Um, and yeah, there's Kieran and Marlene can probably link to a, a, a tutorial on, on that if anyone wants to know details on that. Um, I'm just going to stop screen sharing. Oh no, no, I'll carry on screen sharing. I was going to have a look at the questions. I'm sure they've got it all in hand. Um, what else do I need to talk about with this? This is uh, on the website here. You can see everything that comes in the box. Um, yeah, this is the external antenna, this cable. You need to be able to run that cable through your boat and outside. Um, yeah, you don't need an installer to do it. Um, I've put them in myself. It's, it's pretty easy. Um, and the antenna goes up, up the back of the boat. We'll just stop sharing. And it looks like we're in chat. Cool. And where's the quick, I'm just gonna have a look at the Q and A. There's no, no there's only an open, one open question there. Cool. Okay, so what I will do now, is I will go back to screen sharing, close that. Uh, and share. So uh, we'll just talk a little bit about um, how, how you use the Iridium Go. So obviously once you've, um, actually I'll turn my, 
stop sharing again. So once you've activated your SIM card, you need to put it in the back, in the back of your unit. Oops. And, um, and, and it slides in there and you clip that in, put your battery back in, put the back on and, um, and you're good to go. Uh, make sure you've put the SIM card in that you've activated. Uh, so we recommend that you get um, multiple SIM cards. It means that you can cancel and reactivate at any time without any cost whatsoever to, um, to reactivate or to have it, it, it deactivated. There's no cost. So um, you get a free SIM card when you order. And, um, and, but we recommend you get a few more. Uh, have heard of plenty of cases where they've been uh, a pretty good currency uh, at an anchorage uh, where someone needs one. You know, might get you a bottle of rum or or something like that. So um, <laughs> no harm in having a few more. I'll just have a quick drink. Righty ho. So let's um, let's talk a little bit more about the apps, and I will see. Yeah, I thought I could connect that, but I can't. So let's go back to this screen share. Come down here and we will talk more about the apps. So you'll see here there are tutorials on how to set this up. So the Iridium Go app. So we can use that on our phone or on our iPad. And that's how we make our, our phone calls um, and SMS. So to use this, it's, a, you know, I'm not going to go through the tutorial, um, but it's, 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 it's pretty straightforward. Um, so you need to have your Iridium Go turned on, which means that the antenna's up. And you need to, and, 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 and your Iridium Go needs to, um, be connect, you know, be able to connect to the satellite. So it can't be inside, it can't be in the boat. Well, it can be in the boat if you've got the external antenna and it needs to be able to see the satellites. What you do then is you get your, 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 your smartphone or your tablet and you're going to have the Iridium Go app loaded onto your phone or your tablet and you're going to go to that um, so you've got that loaded on there. You've got that from the from the Play Store or the App Store. And before you go uh, into that app, you're actually going to go into the settings on your phone, and you are going to connect to the Iridium Wi-Fi. So this little unit creates a, a Wi-Fi, um, a local Wi-Fi network on your boat, um, just the same as your router at home does. Um, it makes a little Wi-Fi connection and so hotspot and so you've got to connect your device that you're going to use to the Iridium Go Wi-Fi so that before you every, that's uh, before you and you'll get used to it really quick um, and when you're offshore it, it, it doesn't matter because you can just have it connected um, and You've, but you've got to have that connection. Otherwise, your phone can't talk to the the Go, and your Go can't talk to the you know, the Go can't talk to the satellites. Or your phone can't talk to the satellites. So we connect to the Wi-Fi. Then we go to the Iridium Go app. We log in, um, which you only need to do the first time, and which is all covered in the tutorial. And from there, basically, you you make a a normal phone call. Um, but you just need to make sure you've got the full international dialing sequence in there. You know, so if you're calling the US, it's plus one. If I was going to call New Zealand, where I am, plus six four, and then and then my uh, you know my full uh, my area code and my phone number, and I can ring um, ring someone up. Uh, a little tip is that you want to be the closer you are to the to the unit, uh, the less the, the 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 better the quality. If you if you're standing up on the bow and the unit's down below, 
yeah, it, it, it just there's a bit more latency in it. It's just yeah, the closer you are, the better. Really, you don't need to be next to it, but within a couple of meters is is good. Um, you know, you make your phone call, where you go. Uh, you you're best to call people. It's expensive for people to call you. Um, so yeah. So then, and this, so the same with SMS. So you can uh, text people, and they can uh, they can text you back. So so far as texting goes, there is a little a little trick. I'll just go to the sitemap here. Pretty sure I can. Here we are. So if people want to contact you. They can con they can SMS you for free through this Iridium messaging portal here, and uh, so that means that yeah. So you're you know if you've got the unlimited plan, you can send as many SMS as you want, and your family, friends, or whatever uh, they can send you as many as, as as they want from in here. If they if they go directly from your phone, it's the same as an international SMS. So that costs. Um, you know, whatever your local carrier charges are. So that's a sort of brief overview of the of the messaging. Um, let's go back here. And so we will now talk about the um, the email quickly. So just check my time. Yeah, I can definitely talk. Um, so email emails are pretty awesome um uh, you can you know you can um you know send them send you know get a, you can put a bunch of emails together and then send them all off at once um again this app works on so you get this app from the app store you are gonna need to create an iridium email address so that's all in this tutorial here, the Ready Marlin web setup. And once you've got that uh, Iridium email address, people can uh, email you on that and you can email them back. Um, they can't send you, um, you know, big pictures or anything. You can send little pictures. Um, again, we have a tutorial on on how to set that up and how to send photos through that uh, through that system, and uh, yeah, but again, if, if you can you know send as many uh, emails and um, and receive as many emails as you want uh, if you have the the uh, unlimited plan. So yeah, but again, uh, uh, just that. So that's on your iPad, iPhone, Android tablet, Android phone. So, and then the, the sort of, uh, probably the reason I'm here today <laughs> is the offshore app. So with the Iridium Go, we can download our weather and um, it's, you know, um, I'm not gonna go, uh, you know, we've done other webinars on the offshore app and how you use it and how you use it with the Iridium Go and we've got some awesome, um, tutorials on it but what uh, you know I, I, what I will just sort of cover off is that is, is some real basics so as I said earlier that the the predict wind offshore app which is our app that we use for our satellite connections um, and and it can be used with SSB um, and uh, but this works on PC and Mac and a Chromebook. So all these other apps over here, they're only on iOS or um, Android, but this here will work on your PC or Mac, laptop or a Chromebook. Also works on your iPad, your iPhone, your Android phone, Android tablet. Um, I know that when, um, you know, when I do, uh, sailing uh, offshore and I want to use uh, the Iridium Go. I um, I do a bit of two-handed sailing and um, usually we're pretty tired. Um, I did a race earlier in the year 
and just being able to can you know i was we, we were doing uh one hour on one one hour off and it was really rough some of the time but i was able to just go down below i was lying on the floor of the boat and i had to press about three buttons uh, tap you know tap it about three times to do a new download of weather um because it was the the ipad was connected to the iridium go and all I needed to do was move my start waypoint. I had all, I had everything else set up, um, which stays set up in the in the offshore app, and I was able to get new weather, and um, and you know, and that was about all I could do because it was it was so rough and 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 not and, and not very nice, and you don't want to be spending ages looking at the screen. And then once I downloaded that, you know, I, I was able to sit up and deck. I actually usually have it. I usually have it in a, in, a, in a life proof case and so I could sit up on deck with my iPad and um, and do my do my weather analysis um, yeah I can't I can't emphasize how awesome that is uh, just because through the iridium go it does a direct download all I needed to do was be connected move my start waypoint to where I was because the iridium go is telling me where uh, where I am, so my I'm on my screen, the little dots showing up, and I just moved my my my, my um, start waypoint to where the Iridium Go was showing I uh, where I am on the screen, and then I just press download, and and everything else just happens. I don't need to send emails and get emails back or or anything like that. It just automatically does it. Um, the software will. If this happened to drop a satellite and so we lost our connection, the software just restarts from where it where it stopped and carries on. It's it's super awesome. Yeah, I just I just press download, put the iPad over there, look at it, you know, 10 minutes later, and I've got all my weather thanks to my Iridium Go. So uh, the other thing which I probably should have got, I'll stop sharing, um, which I probably should uh, pull up, is I will just, uh, let's pull up a, let's pull up a, a, a tracking page if I can. Um, always the way. Uh, no, no, no. Can you put a link up? Do you have a link, Kieran? Oh, where can I find one? I don't know. Just bear with me. I'm gonna because I want to talk about tracking. Um, the uh, the Iridium Go uh, has the ability to do tracking, and I will pull up this page here of these people that have sailed around the world. Where is the link? Here we are, and I'll go to screen sharing. Is Zoom gone? There we are. Coming up, share the screen. Okay, so this is a really cool thing about the Iridium Go. It can send your position every hour. Well, you can actually change the period. It could be 12 hours, uh, you could, and, but we recommend you do it every hour and it updates your position. Um, so if I zoom out a bit, you can see these people have actually sailed around the world um, with their uh, Iridium Go. And it's tracked them the whole way around the world. And uh, I think I think they might have just arrived home. Anyway, it's the, the, having your tracking uh, going with the Iridium Go. Uh, lots of benefits. I mean, it means that uh, people can follow you. They can see where you are. Um, they can see if you've stopped. They can see if you've turned around. Uh, so there's a bit of a safety aspect there. Um, it's really nice. For people um, at home to be able to 
you know, share your journey. Um, and you can see over here, so this is something else that you can do with the Predict Wind Offshore app and the Iridium Go, is you can add blog posts. So I don't know what this one says. I mean, they've just said, you know, in the morning black clouds were starting to form, thunderstorm passed over us and wind was unstable. The weather calm by the evening and then motor sailing. So, you know, if that was, um, you know, someone you knew or, or, or whatever, it's, it's pretty cool to know what they're doing. And you can see here, they have got blog posts nearly every day, updating about their journey. So they're doing that while they're at sea and, um, and you know, everyone else can see what they're doing. Um, you know, I know that some of the YouTubers uh, use it so that their followers can see what they're doing and, and, and be updated while they're at sea. Um, and so for rallies, uh, we can also have, you can have all the boats from the rally on the page. And so you can see we did that um, with the Salty Dog Homeward Bound uh, flotilla. I know this is seven seas, but you know, we're all friends. Um, and uh, yeah, but so you can actually have other people on your tracking page. So if you had uh, someone that you were, a, a, you know, a, a passage buddy or boat buddy or whatever, someone else that was doing the same passage as you or a group of you, you can have all of them on the screen as well. So you can see where they are. Uh, you can read their blogs and see what they're doing. So yeah, a really, it's a really neat feature um, and uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. And nice to know uh, what people are doing out there. Uh, you know, other people are doing you, you know, and, and what, what they're experiencing. So yeah, very cool. Anyhow, I'll stop sharing that. And yeah, cool. Okay, so I will just quickly check the Q and A. No, there's no new questions that I need to answer. And yeah, I think that's it. If anyone has any more questions, um, please feel free to reach out to our support team. Uh, they um, they're super awesome, and they're there to help. And uh, yeah, I'll hand over to Joan if you're going to come back and wrap it up or yes, no, maybe. I'll give her a minute. But yeah, anyway, thank you very much for joining us today, everybody. And um, yeah, it was a pleasure to be able to hopefully uh, give you a little bit of an insight into, into the Iridium Go. Well, Nick, thank you very much. We didn't hear much from Marlene or from Karen, but uh, they were there, and it was really interesting to see um, the antenna part of the Iridium Go so that you can be sure that you can get your messages in and out. I think that's pretty important if anyone's had the handheld device, um, the sat phone, yeah. and it didn't work. You have to go above deck. So all the Yeah, so that's just, just, just on that as well. You can, so that even if you have the external antenna and you have this sitting inside the boat, you can still... Un you just you just the, the, it just plugs in the side there, and you can just unplug it and take it with you if you needed to take it in a grab bag or something. So, um, or you want, or you were going for a hike on shore and you want to take it with you. you can, That's a you great can great it. program you put together. We will have this recording on uh, Seven Seas, and uh, I'm sure you'll be hearing from from Nick. I know that there's uh, quite a few participants today, and we appreciate you and Predict Wind. Um, helping cruisers. And we'll see you again pretty soon, I'm sure. All right. Thank you very much. See you All later, right. everybody. Bye-bye.